Hello and welcome to the Recreation to Recreation podcast, the show where we explore the stories of people who have turned the activity that they love into positive change for our world. My name is Jen, and I'll be your sidekick on this adventure as we treasure hunt for gems of insight and wisdom while exploring the planet with our inspiring guests. Hello and welcome to this episode of Recreation to Recreation, marking the changing seasons. Thank you for listening to the show and for exploring the world with us through these conversations. Together, we've traversed mountains, gone beneath and across the ocean's surface. We've looked down microscopes and through camera lenses. We've picked fruit, chased frogs, gone forest bathing, long distance hiking and running, and experienced life both at the equator and in the Arctic. Far beyond the exploration of our world, we hope that these episodes have also encouraged you to explore your inner landscape, your beliefs, values, and passions, to find curiosity and kindness, adventure and meaning in each and every moment. Thank you so much for supporting the causes chosen by our guests each month through the Recreation Donation. Please remember, it's never too late to support. Whether you can donate your time, money, or your voice, it's all good and it's all meaningful. You can visit their websites directly or head over to our Patreon page to find out how you can support their unique versions of recreation for the world. We also encourage you to go closer to home if that's more meaningful to you, choosing a cause that's close to your heart. Or perhaps this is the year where you create your own project, charity, or initiative that brings your unique version of recreation to the world. For those that are new here, we hope you will take the time to listen to these episodes that explore how each guest has turned recreational activities into meaningful change for our world. Each episode is an entirely new adventure with only one question in common. What do you think is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything? This episode brings together the diverse answers to this question from our inspiring guests in season one. As we reflect on the past year, may we find gratitude for all we've experienced, both the challenges and the opportunities. And as we listen, let's allow our imaginations to run free as we dream about what is possible for ourselves and the world in this next trip around the sun. Can't wait for you to join me for season two for more incredible conversation and exploration. Our adventure today will take us from the depths of the Bolivian jungle to the windswept isles of Scotland, where we'll be meeting with Laura Coleman to explore her world of art, communication, and wildlife conservation. Laura, what do you think the meaning and purpose of life, the universe, and everything is? That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> I think connection connection between beings and species and the rocks and the trees and the and the wind and the water but also joy I think being liberated and having enough justice in the world to be able to to be able to find joy and to cultivate that there's an incredible book by Adrian Marie Brown. It's called Pleasure Activism, and it is about how to find joy and pleasure in this complicated world. And I would recommend it to anyone. So yeah, I, for me, I think it's those two things, joy and connection. Our adventure today will take us from a circumnavigation of the Southern Ocean to the islands of the Pacific Northwest, where we'll be meeting up with Eric Loss to explore his world of sailing, solitude, and lifelong learning. Eric, I gave you a heads up about this because I'm going to be asking everybody, but we've got one final question. Uh Uh-oh. What do you think is the meaning and or purpose of life, the universe, and everything? I'll give you the quick and simple, easy answer, and I'll say 42. For today's adventure, we're heading to Belgium and beyond, where we're meeting up with Haroon to explore his world of creativity, entrepreneurship, and embracing change. 
What do you think is the meaning and purpose of life, the universe, and everything? I don't know if it's an answer that will really match what what, what you expect. If you expect anything with that question, I have no is, expectations. It's it's a bit linked to is there a god? Isn't there a god? It's something that I define myself as uh, agnostic, but in the sense of not just that I don't know, but I it doesn't really impact my life. I'm not sure if there is a meaning. And if there was one, what would it be? What I know is that there are very clear actions we can do to live better together, to make life a little bit more easier for everyone. And those are the guidelines I, I mean, the things I try to to apply to my daily life. Yeah, just to respect others and, and, and try to understand them. But the meaning of life, I'm not even sure it, that there is one, to be honest. So yeah, it's it's a really tough question for me because way I could sum it up is I do believe that people who will tell you with certainty that they know the answer to that question, those are people I usually tend to to stay away from because I believe that people who, who really say that know it either are foolish uh, or try, or have an agenda. But people who try to make you think about what it could be or what uh, involves the life, uh, going through your life, what is this crazy path, that is, is, is stuff that we need to talk about. We will, we will tell you they absolutely know the answer. That is something that I have a big problem with. Uh, but people who think about it, I find it very inter- important. I do as well, but I, I really don't have an answer. I don't know if it's a meaning, but the way I choose to live life would be, and many people do it. It's nothing special. It's just uh, try to make the people uh, you you love happy, not making life worse for, for others, not going against my my set of values. I would say not compromise which be a, in itself a 10-hour discussion. What, what values do you have? Basically, I just try to do that, but I don't have, a, I don't have an answer, even the beginning of an answer, I would say, to, to that. And I've thought a lot about it, but the more, you, the more you know, the more you realize you know little. So it's good to know the limits of your understanding. And I think you, you define those limits more clearly the more you think about what you know, or you, you try to answer those questions. So in that sense, it's, it's so important. For today's adventure, we're heading across Canada with Colin to explore his world of exploration, learning, and the great outdoors. Just one final question today, Colin. What do you think the meaning and purpose of life, the universe, and everything is? You know, I love thinking about these types of questions, but I feel so ill-equipped to try and answer a question like that. (laughs) I'm going to do my best so that I'm not... uh, opting out of answering it completely. Well, I've also had all sorts of answers so far. So <laughs> you can say 42 if that's what you know floats your boat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I think what is the meaning and purpose of life? I mean, I, I don't have that answer. I would say, I think what comes to mind is that we often forget that we're animals, but I think what separates us uh, is the language that we've developed. And in developing that language, we are we have become storytelling creatures. And those stories help shape our history. They help shape the cultures that we live in. From that, it's really important to tell meaningful stories. There's a time and a place. You know, when I do presentations with students, I think there's a time and a place for funny stories, mm-hmm. for silly stories. I think there's a time and a place for you know, TV shows that are just absolutely ridiculous. (laughs) And we need that as a little bit of an escape. But while there's a time and a place for those stories, I think there's really a need for good and meaningful stories to be told to help make the world a better place and to shape the history and culture that that we're living in. What is the purpose and meaning of, of life in the universe? I think as a human being, one of our primary purposes should be to tell good and meaningful stories to ensure that we're trying to make the world a better place. For today's adventure, we're heading to London, England with Amber to explore her world of neuroscience, art, and innovation. What do you think is the meaning and purpose of life, the universe, and everything? 
I think the meaning and purpose of life is what resonates with you. We're all connecting to, let's say, energy source, whatever you call that, the universe, God, angels, spirits. There are many different names for energy. We have the ability to influence that energy in various different ways that then reveals what we consider our purpose our, or our calling or our destiny or our fate. You know, again, many different names for that. And mm-hmm. I think it's, it's what we're searching for, what we're influencing is really the essence of authenticity for ourselves. I, I feel like love is tied into that social acceptance, career success, all of it is tied into this genuine, unified, authentic need to want to be accepted for who we are. That is what kind of ultimately forms or shifts our purpose and ultimately what we put out into the universe in in, in terms of like influencing energy towards that purpose, if that makes sense. For today's adventure, we're heading to Nova Scotia with Celeste to explore his world of connection, experience, and regenerative tourism. What do you think is the meaning and purpose of life, the universe, and everything? To learn. To do the work. To do the work. That is at the intersection. To do the work is at the intersection of learning, of values, and of growth as an individual. And it doesn't stop. It shouldn't. I say that to do the work because there are a lot of people who are not prepared to do the work. And that is part of the reality of being human, that there are people who will resist that. And so how do we how do we come to terms with that, right? So that's a maturation process because what we have to do is in doing the work, become comfortable enough in the narrative that we have to share that it doesn't require being preachy. People feel how, how centered we are. They don't need to be in conflict with it. For today's adventure, we're heading to Colombia, Canada, and beyond with Marcella to explore her world of ocean, wellness, and reinvention. What do you think is the meaning and purpose of life, the universe, and everything? Hmm. <laughs> I think the meaning for us to be here, you know, to be given one life to come and explore how amazing this planet and the universe is, is that, I mean, honestly, <laughs> I know it sounds redundant, but like I, I feel that if every single human was even life connected to the true desires, you know, to like what they really want to do. So basically... I feel that when I'm doing something that I'm so passionate about, like my heart feels warm. Even having this conversation, like my heart feels warm. You know, like when I'm talking mm-hmm. about all these things, I'm like, it warms me up. And I've just, I feel that I'm vibrating this like fire, this passion, you know, just outside of me. And I feel that if every single human was doing that, imagine the type of world that we will have. I think the purpose is just, we come here to be true to ourselves and like don't live our lives out of fear, sort of out of expectations, you know, that are external to us, but If we can truly just take the adventure and just like, screw it, you know, I want to live exactly how I want to live. I want to do what sets my soul on fire. Then that's what we're here for. So, (laughs) For today's adventure, we're heading to Germany, France, and into the field with Guillaume to explore his world of frogs, fun, and field work. What do you think is the meaning and purpose of life, the universe, and everything? The question, I have heard different answers of this question while listening to the podcast. <laughs> I have to say that I always found this this question a bit strange in a way, simply because like, okay, what is the meaning of life? Should, is there one? Like, should, should there be one? <laughs> so this, this was kind of like my attitude at first. It, very reminiscent of conservation in this in the end actually right it's like what is you know what is the meaning of conservation and the answer is like you know what there's no there's no true meaning because it depends who you ask <laughs> basically mm-hmm. so i guess that would be my generic answer is that you do make your own meaning right and this is where fun is important this is where your passion is important right 
you're gonna spend your life doing something you're gonna maybe contribute something and that meaning is for yourself. But there is something I do want to mention since this line is from the Hitchhiker's Guide. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you recall, <laughs> but <laughs> in the book, they ended up realizing that actually they have the answer, but they don't have the question. And they have to figure out the question as well. Exactly. I <laughs> and I, this is a passage I love. People don't usually remember it, but I do because it's about frogs, <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> so... So they end up traveling in the book. They end up traveling to this character called Prak, who essentially was instructed to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, for some reason, uh, then he ended up telling all the truth about the universe and everything. That means he, that person, he probably knows the meaning, the, the question. He knows the ultimate question to life, the universe, and everything. Uh, so they go find him. And uh, once they get to him, they realize first that he's no longer talking, which is strange <laughs> because he was supposed to tell everything about the universe. So it's kind of crazy to think that, that there would be an end to that. But apparently there is <laughs> his answer <laughs> being uh, there's not as much to it as most people think, basically. <laughs> and, and he goes on saying that he did not remember, essentially that he doesn't remember what uh, they're looking for. But he recalls that many of the weirdest and funniest bits involved frogs. <laughs> So, so perfect. <laughs> I will leave it with that. For today's adventure, we're heading to Norway with Malin to explore her world of nature, advocacy, and motherhood. Very excited, as always, to hear your musings on the answer to this question, or if there is an answer, or maybe there isn't, and that's okay too. What do you think is the meaning and purpose of life, the universe, and everything? <laughs> so you're asking the question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? I I don't believe there is a meaning or purpose at all. I think it's like this amazing coincidence or what do you call it a serendipity mm. uh, that we are here and there is no meaning behind it there is no purpose behind it which means that we have to make the purpose we have to make the meaning in life and the universe and everything and that goes to finding your passion finding those good relationships and trying to leave the world and the universe a better place finding your purpose and by not knowing, it's like, I guess, if it was a god or if, if it had a purpose, I think we should have known. Or I think somebody should have written like a, a note. <laughs> <laughs> so your place here, this is, this is how you do life. You know, this is the meaning of it. Yeah. If it's all just a coincidence that we are here, to me, that's just fantastic. <laughs> you know? For today's adventure, we're heading to Kenya with Shika to explore her world of empowerment, spirituality, and meaningful jewelry. What do you think is the meaning and purpose of life, the universe, and everything? Well, Jen, given the conversation that we've had today, I don't think this is going to come as much of a surprise because I think it just summarizes what we've talked about. But in a very simplistic terms, I think it's just to become the best versions of ourselves so that we can live the most fulfilling and empowered life that we can. And, you know, just to keep on generating good karma so we don't have to come back in the next life and experience the same hardships and, and tough lessons. And I think, again, there's many ways that we can do this. I think getting to know yourself is so empowering and there's many modalities. For me, it's it's been astrology. For you, I know that you're very passionate about meditation. It can be breath work. It can be mindful living. You know, whatever it is, there's no one right way for mm -hmm. everybody. So I think just, just explore, you know, the modality Go and live the best life that you can live through the conversation that we have. Hopefully we can inspire others to follow a, a similar suit. You know, spirituality isn't for, for everyone. So find the modality that works for you personally. For today's adventure, we are heading to Armenia and beyond with Val to explore his world 
of through hiking, human kindness, and trail development. Before I let you go, I've got one more question. What do you think is the meaning and purpose of life, the universe, and everything? I've been stressing the old day, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't even. I don't, it's. I've had all kinds of answers, Val. So no pressure. You can also say pass. Okay, I mean, the thing I value really is, again, you can sort of choose it as purpose, but it, it's just like experience. Just experiencing things, I think, feels like the thing that drives me and the definitions kind of relates to purpose of your life. But being open to experience things and uh, yeah, not, not trying to tailor it to just be good. Living with a bit of freedom where you're kind of open to it possibly going bad as well. Like this is kind of why I, the trails have really doing these long journeys have really clicked for me because you're putting yourself in a position where you can, it, it, it's almost like slipstreaming into this way of living where everything is turned up to 11 in terms of whatever positive experiences you have are going to be really positive And then whatever negative experiences are going to be really negative too. I guess the purpose of maybe is just like being open to experience and just experiencing lots of different things. The meaning of life, I, that's something else. Like, I don't know if I can answer that. For today's adventure, we're heading to New Zealand with Liarna to explore her world of horticulture, mental health, and nurturing growth. What do you think is the meaning and purpose of life, the universe, and everything? I think it is all about connection. The connections that we create and the feelings that are associated with these connections can have an impact on how strong the connection is. So things that have strong feelings about can create stronger connections, but it's about going through life making positive connections with people and our environment and ourselves. It's just about connections because we make them every day. And it's about working on the connections that make us smile. It's working on the connections that make us feel good. It's keeping those connections with those friends and those loved ones reaching out to someone you might not have spoken to for a while and both really happy that you connected, reconnected. And you get so much from those connections and those feelings. And I think that's the meaning of life and the universe and everything is to create connections, maintain connections and enjoy our connections. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Recreation to Recreation. If you or someone you know has a unique and inspiring story to tell, make sure to reach out so we can share it with the world. Until next time, keep happy, keep healthy, and keep exploring.